Okay, welcome to my uh, demonstration uh, to Microsoft Power uh, uh, Microsoft Project. Let's open up the Microsoft Project uh, software. I'm using Microsoft Project 2016. Nowadays, you can get 2019. I think the uh, menu and interface is almost the same. Okay, normally we start by opening up a blank project and you know what when you are connected to the uh, internet they are basically a sample or template okay more template from the office that you can basically use and then uh, let's say for construction there are a few template but bear in mind the template basically belong to the uh, USA ways of uh, doing things but uh, most of the activity or the task name are almost similar uh, if you do not know how to start a scheduling you can just basically uh, get any of the template and then do the modi modification from that okay now let's try to open up a blank project okay these are the views that you are going to get. Uh, first views, there are two views that you can see here. This, uh, when I press this thing, there are a few columns starting from task name, duration, start. Start mean early start, early finish. And then there is a divider that, it, that you can drag to the right and left. Predecessor and resource name. Well, basically, by default, okay, uh, so there are only a few columns being shown here. If you want to uh, put more columns, you just simply, for instance, insert a new column. So there are a selection of columns here. You just simply press uh, according to the alphabet there. Let me put a WBS. I just simply type W and the list of W uh, things will appear let me click on WBS so that's how basically you input a column or you can even hide a column you see hide a column so the way the uh, Microsoft project uh, basically show they only show the default things uh, the rest of the thing are being hide otherwise it is too much to be seen on this a small screen so if you want to view on anything you just simply click on the right uh, button or menu then the list of things will appear all right then okay so i would say this uh, column thing similar to uh, excel format is this is what we call a spreadsheet area and whereas okay this divider this is what we call a a gun chart area where whenever you um, type in task name or whatever and then put duration so the gun chart will be drawn on this particular timeline and you notice that there is a timeline indicate a current date you can change the format by double clicking those things see if you double click there is a top tier, middle tier, bottom tier, and non-working time or whatever that you can basically uh, do, uh, make changes on the way that you want to show. Instead of showing the date, you can basically show the duration uh, in term of one, two, until the end of the project for, for easy reading of the scale, okay? So you can change many many things there never mind and then here on the left here okay you notice that when i open up mine you right click there are selection of things the one being drawn being tick gun chart and view bar meaning to say by default the gun chart will be here if you want to view on other thing you can click on those things but now i want to untick the view bar Normally, when you open up a Microsoft, just a new, newly installed Microsoft project, you are going to see something like this.
Yan chart. Okay, on the left side of the screen. So for me, I would like to add view bar. So what are this view, uh, this button? This button represents a shortcut button. And there are a few shortcut button instead of instead of on the left here. And if you notice the bottom of the screen here, there are a few um, shortcut menu. Gun chart here, task usage. And then what is this thing? This is the calendar, I guess. And then this is the resource sheet. And this is what? Report. Okay. You can click on this shortcut menu for easy maneuvering of the uh, uh, what we call the works and then uh, let me go through very quickly about the uh, menu when you click each of this menu it, it represents uh, what are the sub element under those menu under files there is a new open info just click info you see there are project information you can click here advanced property you can put some of the information here you can take a look at the statistic content custom etc all right and then the most important things you can click on project statistic see this is the statistic of the project now we do not have any information yet because we have not input anything all right then you can save, save as, print, share, export, close, and the most important thing is the option. The option menu. I call it option menu. This is for you to set up your project. And you notice there are a few selection of uh, menu here. Uh, let's try to click on display. See, you notice you can change some of the thing here. For instance, I want Malaysian Ringgit. M, Y. No, no, no. M, M, M. M. This is M, Y, R. You see? R, M is here. This is how you change the symbol of the currency and many other things. Normally, this uh, button is not there. You can click on this button so that it, uh, it, is, it works like Excel where you want to edit something. The entry bar will be shown then you can just simply uh, know uh, what to edit and then on schedule you see uh, week start on what days if your project start on monday click on monday if your project start on tuesday click on tuesday let's say uh, today is uh, uh, friday uh, friday is uh, 12th of june let's say i want to start the project on 16 16 will be Tuesday so you must click on Tuesday then uh, 16 will be on June June you must click on June then only will you will get the right uh, fiscal year otherwise uh, your setting will not be accurate and then you must change the uh, duration of the project for that particular day by default it basically shown 8 to 5 8 to 5 mean 9 hours from 12 to 1 is the lunch hour so basically you are working for 8 hours so if for instance you are working per day is uh, 9 or 10 hours then you need to change this thing will be at 7 p.m. okay and etc you need to change the the hours per week according to your work week, uh, days per week, etc. And here, decimal percentage. So, this thing will appear inside your resource sheet. By default, if you do not, if you do not change anything, percentage will be shown. For instance, um, the unit of the machinery or manpower or material will be shown in the uh, percentage form for instance uh, one person one workers when you put one as decimal it will be shown one but if you change the percentage it will show 100% so what does 100% mean 
Okay, 100% meaning to say 1% working at 100% capacity. Uh, remember that you can schedule the um, the uh, working hours for machinery, for men, and not all machinery will be working in uh, full days, including uh, manpower also. So 50% simply mean that guy or that machine will be working uh, only half days, meaning to say four hours. So that is the concept, okay? And then there is a selection of manual and auto schedule, okay? And the selection of the uh, unit, you can uh, mix and mesh between a unit, minute, hours, days, week, and month inside your Microsoft project, not necessarily that you only put days until the end of the uh, uh, the unit in your task name you can mix and match anyway but for me I would like to put just simply uh, days or whatever not as not to confuse myself and then another one normally this is the issue fix unit okay fix duration and fix work what is work work is basically unit time duration so unit and duration are basically interrelated but in the case of duration is is a separate matters remember when we do scheduling we can uh, do scheduling using time driven or resource driven for instance i already put a uh, fixed duration uh, for piling works for instance i want to put uh, 10 days so if i want to put 10 days then this box i cannot I'll, I have to leave it uh, antique so this is basically the pair okay the pair for this kind of uh, selection if you put fix unit then you need to put uh, to click this thing uh, then it is only correct okay so you want basically the computer to um, uh, to uh, what we call to mesh with the uh, uh, in terms of resources that you have and then the, the duration that it will take for instance if you put more uh, more resources for sure the duration will be shorter as simple as that so if you put fit unit and then you need to uh, take this one you can take uh, auto link and this one uh, and the rest you keep it like that okay and so forth after you do that and then only you will click ok then you are ready to go for instance so this is just example okay uh, under file normally we start our project with uh, setting up uh, setting up a few things that we need to basically do some changes in order to uh, uh, to basically customize our project all right that will be the first thing and then tasks okay you see there are a few uh, button under tasks uh, I will show you only a few this is what we call in then and out then this button is for us to organize our project okay is to organize our project and then to split the long task, this is what we call splitter. This is to link the task, meaning to say link is being used uh, for the predecessor. And then to unlink the task. This one is link and unlink is basically for finish to start relationship kind of function. And the rest we will show you later on. Okay, now let's take a look at how do we input uh, data. Okay we input data using a task name under the task name okay when i input data let's try a okay you see and then b okay i click you see now wps is being shown as one two why one two is simply meaning to, meaning to say it is uh, the item is only on the the level one but there are two items on the same level so when you input your data you must organize 
your work uh, by pressing a certain button here uh, we call it uh, indent button then only you will see um, your activity will fall nicely under the WBS that you want otherwise it will not be accurate okay then and then under this mode uh, there is another thing that I want to mention here okay okay you notice that there is a sign here the pin uh, the pin sign this pin sign indicate mode of what what we call manual schedule Microsoft since uh, I think 2013 introduce this kind of uh, extra features they allow the uh, scheduling to be done uh, manually or auto schedule that's why if you are doing an auto schedule um, for all of your activity you can basically click on the uh, file and then option and you notice that under schedule there is a selection of manual or auto scheduling you can choose auto scheduling and you don't need to make changes anymore but since I do not do anything this thing will appear okay let me change the second one uh, second one okay even the first one first one I change into manual schedule uh, auto schedule what would happen okay auto schedule for the first one let me click this thing again auto schedule see when it is in auto schedule the computer will always try to uh, will always ask you uh, for instance in term of duration is it one day question mark so you need to answer that let's say it is not one day it is uh, two days okay now it is being drawn two days you notice that Saturday and Sunday is a uh, non-working days so today is a uh, Friday is working days supposedly and then the drawing of the bar chart will be jump because one day is a uh, pride on Friday and another day will be continue on Monday so that will be equivalent to two working days so off day is not being uh, included but in terms of drawing it will show okay you see automatically the early start date and early finish date will be shown automatically and then how about the second one okay because I'm do I, I did the setting on auto uh, save that's why it appear like this okay, I do not want to save yet and then second one is basically manual scheduling you notice that manual scheduling if I choose manual scheduling what I can do I can even write on the duration start date and finish date and on many many things so I don't need to follow the uh, the format being asked okay now uh, pending let me say pending so we do not know the duration yet How about date date eh? we say wait for the boss see you can write anything so this uh, manual scheduling basically allow us to do the brainstorming remember when we want to do scheduling first thing first we want to brainstorm in uh, for instance in terms of what are the task name what are the WBS we still uh, there are so many changes that we need to do but we want to input the uh, data that we have into the Microsoft project first instead of putting on paper somewhere or instead of putting on the wall so you just simply uh, can um, put everything under this Microsoft project uh, so that you will not forget about all the information that you need to do and then later on you come back and change those activity either it will be auto scheduling or not alright okay let me change this one into auto scheduling see what happened uh, now uh, by pressing auto you must basically uh, 
input the data according to what the computer want in term of how many duration and then automatically it will draw for you and then uh, it will ask uh, different different uh, basically more information such as, such as the predecessor okay now we want to for instance make sure let's say three days okay three days see three days has been uh, drawn here and then how about the predecessor okay so the predecessor if you want to use this button link and unlink you need to basically select the activity okay let me select the activity both activity I will select both activity and then click on the link button you see the uh, link on the bar chart is being shown and the right way to input the data is basically for instance activity uh, B the predecessor is basically a what does one mean one mean this numbering microsoft project only recognize this numbering not the task name even though we name the task by whatever name but microsoft project basically do generate this uh, auto numbering this this is like id code uh, for that particular uh, particular uh, activities so we must input accurately one uh, one two etc etc and when just simply show one without uh, showing uh, finish to start whatnot automatically the relationship is finished to start how do we know okay let's see this are now we are in a gun chart mode okay let's go to the network diagram Ah, you see a and b is here and what diagram and try to double click on this link and you see the relationship is finished to start relationship and you can even change the type of relationship you can uh, even uh, put like positive or negative accordingly okay now we do not want to put any like and in fact you can add another uh, activity by just uh, working on the gun uh, network diagram views now we are into network diagram views for instance just using your mouse hold on the mouse and then release another box and you see this empty box if you go to gun chart you see this is empty box and in fact you can basically drag here uh, you can play around or even you can drag uh, here and then at the end of the day you can see the uh, you can put the activity into the right sequence if you want okay now if I click on the mouse linking those things and now go back to gun chart you see how the activity is now is being connected together okay i can even uh, delete this thing i delete the uh, predecessor and then see using this uh, link button i can link them together now it is being shown so finish to start relationship you can just simply select activity that have finished to start relationship you can select all you can uh, select uh, using uh, a few activity and then click on this button or you can unclick this button to delete those things okay and go back to the network diagram this is how the uh, your pdm diagram looks like okay we call it network diagram here in microsoft project but the diagram basically uh, similar to PDM diagram that we learn in class. Okay, now I want to add a few more activity. Okay, let me connect this. Add more activity. Let me connect this. And then you see the gun chart. We do have a few activities. 
okay but I can basically uh, uh, I have not renamed the activity yet I can move them around okay I can move this activity by using this uh, button here I can name it C I can name it D I can name this one as E and then the computer start asking me about the duration let me put two days each okay see that's how you input data into Microsoft project uh, first by uh, putting the name and then the duration and then predecessor and in terms of date because I have not set up the date for the project yet so that's why it is being shown on uh, this day okay if for instance I want to change uh, my project to start here this is the button I will start on uh, next Monday Monday next Monday would be uh, 15 click OK and you see all the projects start on Monday now uh, the first activity is two days okay Monday and Tuesday and etc etc Okay, that's how you uh, start the project okay uh, you notice that I have not organized the project according to WBS yet okay let me organize let's say A and B ABC belong to phase one insert task okay I uh, phase one I put a a topic a title phase one phase one is not an activity it is just basically I want to group activity together a B C belong to phase one but then what happened to D and E let's assume D and E belong to phase two now I can do that okay so I just input all the data first but then only I need to organize I need to select ABC and then using the indent button click on indent and then you see ABC now appear to be put under phase 1 and now the the numbering 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.3 1 this simply mean this item belong to phase 1 okay and then how about D and E I select D and E and then basically click on indent see D and E basically belong to phase 2 you notice there is the uh, so called uh, summary task if I click on this mouse summary okay summary task and the uh, the duration being shown uh, under bulk here phase one bulk seven days basically all the activity that belong uh, to phase one will be calculated based on the relationship finish to start so when you add up two plus three plus two it is finished to start for sure it is seven and then uh, phase two two plus two which is four days so that's how the system works and how the WBS work okay now you can basically here there is a small small icon here you can unclick uh, uh, unclick here and then unclick here okay it is too small anyway okay and now you see phase one and phase two only being shown why these are the major activity uh, major uh, major what we call event when I expand this button then the whole detailing will appear so the difference between phase 1 and phase 2 uh, when I click and unclick is a matter of show the major activity and the detail activity remember in scheduling we do have um, what we call major work program and then we have detail work program it depends on to whom you want to show if you want to show the whole thing on the work program 
uh, you might not want to click all the detail because it is too much and you just simply cannot print uh, in one piece of sheet anyway so you want to basically only capture the major work program you can do that all right then okay and then the uh, the last one is basically resources okay how do we input resources okay we can input resources not directly here if you click on all this item here there is empty uh, things but the way to input is by clicking on the resource sheet here this is an empty resource sheet you can start clicking on uh, let's say workers you put on workers and then machine let's say dumper and then material uh, let's say from work okay for material you change the material and then for work for workers and uh, machine you keep on uh, based on the type of work you see you need to change to uh, how many numbers of workers that you want to uh, let it be at the construction site at maximum let's say three so similar similarly machine also you do that and then form work basically based on uh, the uh, quantity you do not put the quantity here you put quantity in the right place later on and then traveling there is another unit we call it cost okay cost you do not put cost here under unit rate you can put the cost in a different uh, different what we call assignment when you assign the resource so this example of uh, resources that you need to input you need to list out all the workers all the machinery, all the material, all the traveling costs, including subcontractor, testing, everything under the category of cost. Then you go back, go back to your gun chart. You notice that when you click on under resources, so it appears the selection of the thing that you already input and you can basically select okay, the right material that you want to attach. So how do you do that? okay if you just simply click here uh, yes you attach into the right resources but in term of the number of unit in term of the quantity in term of the cost it will not be shown here so the right way to do thing is basically by clicking on any of the resources that you want and then go to resources and you notice that it's assign resources button click there then the assigned resources will appear then you select workers for instance you click assign then the workers will be hit will be shown but then you need to change the unit into the proper unit okay click enter then in a square bracket will, will show the number of the right unit uh, quantity and even the cost later on that's how you, uh, you do things okay and you can do that thing for the rest of the uh, the item so remember each of the item uh, should basically have some kind of man machine material or even if you subcontract those things to subcontractor you don't have to put all the material etc you just simply put subcontractor and then you put what is the cost uh, for that subcontractor you can do that right for instance for e is the activity that i want to assign uh, assign resource let's say it is a form work okay i click uh, assign and then you see the computer is asking me how much is the quantity of homework i need to put that quantity and the cost will be calculated 
but since I do not input any unit rate in the resource sheet it will not calculate that things for me right so I close so that's how basically you uh, input the data into Microsoft project okay um, and before we close this part one of my uh, inter Microsoft interface later on we will show you as example of Microsoft project and you notice that there is, there is a two view here left and right actually there is another view click on the format uh, no no click on the views okay when you click on the views there is a small box here called detail you notice that the third window will appear third window when I click on all these items here the information about uh, that activity will appear and when I move my cursor uh, here I can basically show many many more detailed information with regard to each of the items so this will be the third window and it is being separated by so-called splitter and when the view is being uh, block, block or when you want to go back to uh, let's say gun chart so your gun chart will show like this so sometimes it is very disturbing so you can uh, click on the uh, uh, what we call separator to unclick those things okay again view detail okay or you can go back to view and click back detail and then the third window will basically disappear okay so that would be the a brief introduction to uh, Microsoft interface we have not gone through the task with uh, report project etc etc that will be on uh, part two of uh, my video okay thank you very much